Welcome to Wilbur D. Rao Middle School, where the teachers are great and every single kid is cool, truly. Learn with the common goal. We are safe, respectful, and responsible. Home to math minds, some of the best readers, musicians, athletes, scholars, and web leaders. Lots happening in this wonderful place, and there's only one way to stay up to date. So if you got a case of the sandbox blues, hit the YouTube, check the Shamrock News. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Not a thing that we cannot do. Growth mindset, it's the Shamrock News. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? So if you got a case of the sandbox blues, hit the YouTube, check the Shamrock News. What's going on? 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 Not a thing that we cannot do. Growth mindset, it's the Shamrock News. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Welcome back, Round Middle School. It's the last week of the first quarter. Wow, how time flies. We're already through 25% of the school year. That's right. And thanks for rocking with us, Rao. I'm Madeline. And I'm Tiara. Let's start things off with some information about the upcoming Elks Lodge food drive. Okay, the Rao Middle School canned food drive is starting soon. The canned food drive goes from November 3rd to December 18th. Make sure to at least drop off one can at the following destination. <laughs> there will be boxes located in the lobby, outside the library on the bookshelves, and in the new blue hall outside Mr. Tate's classroom. Our goal for this year's canned food drive is to get 700 cans in total. If you have any canned goods at home or your family is able to donate some for families in need, then drop them off in one of these boxes. The grade that reaches a total of 300 cans first gets a free admission to this winter school dance. And that means no paying! The list of items you can bring will be above the boxes. What are we going to allow people to bring to the canned food drive? Canned meats and tuna fish. Any other ideas? Mm, chili, stews, and beans, chili. That sounds great. I'm and already going to cereal. Ooh, cereal is a good one. Oh, yeah. And we can bring in corn, fruit, and green beans. I like that. Mm -hmm. Duncan. We can also bring in macaroni and cheese, mixed vegetables, olives, water chestnuts, mushrooms, and peanut butter. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the peanut butter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Canned okay. ravioli and spaghetti raviolis. You know, soup sounds really good to bring. Yeah. Definitely rice and dry foods. Yes. Soup. And tomato products. Yeah. Oh, That's we, all. Should make it, we should make it so we can't bring oh, glass Oh, remember, jars. please oh. no glass jars. No glass. At all. If you need to find out if your family is eligible to receive the canned food. Applications will be located in the main office, counseling office, and outside the city. Remember, the canned food drives end on December 18th. So get those canned foods in so your grade can be the one to get into the next dance for, for free. free. Just a heads up about tomorrow, which is Halloween. Mr. Dix has a special announcement regarding appropriate school wear for costumes. My name is Mr. Dix. I may be a bit unrecognizable today because I am dressed up as Captain Rainbow Unicorn Johnson. See, I'm dressed up in the costume of that, which is totally acceptable. And that's what I'm here to talk to you about dressing up in a costume for Halloween this week. If you plan on dressing up as a character this week, you are more than welcome to do so at Rao Middle School. However, there are some guidelines that we need to follow. First off, Captain Rainbow Unicorn Johnson normally has a horse face. My costume would be a little better if I looked like this. However, you cannot wear masks to school. That's right, no masks at Rao Middle School on Thursday, Halloween, October 31st. You also cannot wear any face paint. So if you want to dress up as a cat, awesome. You can wear a cat tail, you can wear a cat costume, you can have cat ears. You may not draw cat whiskers on your face. This is a safety precaution and a safety measure. We need to be able to make sure that we can identify all students here so that we know that the students in the building are the students who are supposed to be in the building. So, no masks, no face paint. In addition to no face paint or masks, we are also asking that you leave the accessories at home. So if you are going as Hermione Granger or Ronald Weasley, that's awesome. You can dress up like a wizard or witch, 
we're gonna ask that you keep the wand at home. We don't want anybody casting any spells here. Plus, the wands can become distractions. So we're gonna keep all accessories at home as well. Your costume also cannot be a distraction. If you are the cat in the hat and you have a hat that is eight feet tall, it is going to be hard for the people behind you to see the board and to participate in the day's academic lessons. So, your costume cannot be a distraction. If it is something that is deemed a distraction, you may be asked to change. Lastly, your costume needs to be school appropriate. I'm not gonna go into the details about what deems something inappropriate for school. You should already know those things. Just a recap, no face paint, no masks, no weapons, no accessories, no distracting costumes, and your costume has to be school appropriate. If your costume meets all of those guidelines, then you're allowed to wear it to school. So, for Halloween, make sure that you are following those guidelines with your costume. There's still time for all of you RAW readers to submit an application for this year's Battle of the Books competition. conference. We've got one final OBOB reminder for all of you that want to be Battle of the Books participants out there. Sign up sheets are due Monday, November 4th. Speaking of meetings, the first meeting will be held after school Monday, November 4th. We'll also be talking about reading goals, dates of meetings, and the competitions and etc. That night, we will be figuring out team names, writing down t-shirt sizes, and dividing the 16 books amongst the rest of the team members in your group. In order to ride the bus home, you'll need to sign up for Boys and Girls Club. Sheets are in the main office. Battle of the Books is a super fun reading event that is sure to be a blast this year. So sign up now. Then we'll see you on Monday, November 4th after school. pride in our school and part of taking pride in our school is wrapping our school. We've had people reach out to us about RAL gear, specifically hoodies and t-shirts. RAL PTA has not only decided to help us out with some new school. They've also set up a contest where you can potentially design the hoodies and shirts. Here's how the contest works. Design a RAL logo. A. Size 8.5 by 11. Limitation. Standard sheet of paper. B. One color. Choose any. Doesn't matter. C. Any medium is accepted. Paint, pencils, chalk, digital, as long as it's in the size limitation and it's in a hard copy form. D, include the name Rao. E, include a shamrock or a three-leaf clover, same difference. An F, include this year's motto, dream big. Contest kickoffs Thursday, October 31st. Submit to the office by November 15th by 4.30 p.m. with a submission fee of $5. All members of the PTA will vote on the top five designs at the November 20th, 2019 general meeting. Top five designs will be voted on by peers. The top designs will be posted in the lobby with voting forms from 12 to 19 to 12 6 19. Students will have the opportunity to vote for their favorite designs. The winning design will be announced on December 9th. Winter coats from 9 o'clock to 2 o'clock. Here's some more information. Days are getting shorter, nights are getting longer. The leaves are changing color and falling from our deciduous trees. The temperature is dropping and it's starting to get cold. That means that it's almost time for winter coats.
If you're somebody in need of a new winter coat with no means to get a new winter coat, then the Wichita Center can help. The Wichita Center for Family and Community is located at 6031 Southeast King Road. On Friday, November 1st, 2019, the Wichita Center will be giving away winter coats from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's a building full of services that specifically help students in the North Clackamas School District. In order to get a coat, you must be enrolled in the North Clackamas School District, which means if you're a RAL student, you qualify. If you have any questions about the program, go see Harry in the main office. He can help you with what you need to know. Remember, we're all one big community, and we're in this together. If you can help, please do. Once again, the Wichita Center will be giving away coats on fr Friday, November 1st, from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. The Milwaukee High School Ascension Club will be coming to Round Middle School on the first Tuesday of each month to meet with us. If you're interested in joining Ascension, talk to Ms. Draymond. And I'm Stephanie, and we're from Ascension, Milwaukee. Ascension Route is a club for Hispanic and Latinx students. The main purpose for Ascension Route is for Route students to get involved and feel included and to embrace our culture. Hi, my name is Angel. And I'm Alan. And we're from Ascension, Milwaukee. Ascension, Milwaukee is a club where we spread the word of the Latino culture. For example, we do fundraisers, dances, and we take trips with the club, and we spread the word with other schools too. Hi, I'm Jenny. I'm from Ascension, Milwaukee, and you can join Ascension Raw by talking to Ms. Dreamin and asking how you can join. Thank you. This week on Coppin' or Floppin', we talk about the ASMR trend and whether or not people at Raw Middle School mm -hmm. thought it was trending upwards or downwards. Thomas' sensory murder response is a feeling of well-being combined with a tingling sensation in the scalp and down the back of the neck, as experienced by some people in response to a specific gentle stimulus, often a particular sound. This feeling is triggered by whispering voices, eating crunchy food, or paper tin. Making ASMR videos has been a pretty popular trend on YouTube and other social media sites, as those videos have racked up millions of views. Today, we asked people in our school if that trend is still popping or flopping. Is ASMR popping or flopping? Is ASMR popping or flopping? Flopping. Okay, so do you think ASMR is popping or flopping? Flopping. Okay, so I'm here with Dylan the Horsehead. And Dylan, do you think ASMR is popping or flopping? It's popping. Hey. Do you think that ASMR is popping or flopping? Flopping. Uh -huh. Kylie, do you think that ASMR is popping or flopping? Flopping. Do you know that ASMR is popping or flopping? Flopping. Here with Sarah, part of our Sherman News team, and I'm going to ask her if ASMR is popping or flopping. Popping. I'm here with Ari, and I'm going to ask her if ASMR is popping or flopping. Uh, that's popping, you know. I'm here with John, um, and I'm going to ask him if ASMR is popping or flopping. Man, Mr. Dix, do you think ASMR is popping or flopping? I think that it is popping for this reason and this reason alone. There is a dude who I used to like play rap shows with and stuff like that, and he stopped rapping and he made his own YouTube channel that was just AM ASMR stuff, and now he's like being cast in movies and he gets millions of views, and every single time he posts like, oh, I just bought a brand new Ferrari with my YouTube ASMR money, I feel really sad. <laughs> Instagram whether they think ASMR is popping or flopping and the majority said that it's flopping. 45% said that it's popping and 55% said that it's flopping. The Round PTA will be hosting a socks and undies clothing drive throughout the month of November and the beginning of December. See how you can help out now. 
On November 4th, 2019, the Rao Middle School PTA will be hosting a socks and underwear drive. We'll be collecting socks and underwear to donate to the Family Support Center. There'll be a box located in the main lobby where students can donate their socks and underwear. Yup. Remember, we are only accepting new socks and new underwear. John, we want new socks and underwear. What do you have in your other hand? Don't worry about it. That's gross. Don't worry about it. I was just trying to help. Bitch of dicks, I need a pass. New means unused and still in the package. So if you have some new underwear or new socks that you're willing to donate, please bring them to the lobby starting Monday, November 4th. We'll be collecting the socks and underwear all the way until December 2nd. Thank you, Rao, for helping provide families in need for new socks and underwear. You may have noticed that we have new silverware in the cafeteria. That's right, we stopped purchasing plastic utensils and here's what you need to know. Some of you may have noticed that we've made a change in the cafeteria. I mean, obviously the cafeteria is a big and new and huge improvement from last year. However, there's a small change that's been made. We're now using washable silverware for breakfast, lunch, and after school dinner. In an effort to reduce our plastic waste, we stopped purchasing plastic silverware for the lunchroom. Now our utensils won't end up in the ocean or landfill forever. Instead, once we're done eating, we'll be able to wash your fork, knife, and spoon and use them again. So when you're done, be sure to put your silverware in the container by the tray return location. From there, we'll wash them so that all germs have been destroyed and have the utensils ready to use again the next day. Before some of us start thinking that eating food using the same fork as someone else is gross, this is the same thing that happens at your house and at restaurants. It's no different. So thank you for helping reduce waste on our planet. Remember, when you're done eating, bring your utensils over to the tray return area and put them in the utensil container. Do not throw them away. New counseling groups are coming to Rao Middle School. If you're interested, please see the counselors or Harry, our social worker. Oh, I did it. <laughs> throughout middle school and throughout life, we're all going to go through many different changes. Some of those changes will be emotional changes, and in those times, it might be nice to have a group of people with who you can share your thoughts and feelings with. That's why at Brown Middle School, we're pleased to present different groups that you can join. These groups will be run by community partners and staff members at Brown Middle School. Some groups will take place after school, and some of them will take place during school. Currently, we are offering the following groups for you to join. Gil from Northwest Family Services and Ed Via, our district community liaison, are facilitating a boys group at Rao. It is open to anyone identifying as Latino. The focus will be around cultural and other community building and providing support. The girls slash non-binary group will be facilitated by Ms. Strayman and Kylie from the Trillium Family Services. Goals will to be help students process identity, build resiliency and coping skills, improve empathy, and build relationship as a meaning for belonging. Harry and Yasmin are faculty in a six-week support group for students who have experienced loss of a loved one. Recent loss or one from the past. The focus will be around surrounding the grief cycle and building and practicing coping skills. If you're interested in joining one of these groups, please talk to Mrs. Draymond, Mrs. Harris, or Harry. They can help you get signed up. If you didn't hear a group that you'd like to join, don't worry. There are plans for many more groups in the future. We want a place where everyone can belong and feel comfortable. This week, Rao. We'll see you next Wednesday for the start of the second quarter. Same, same chair off time, same, same chair off place. place. Peace! Uh, I like to give a shout out to Kamari, aka Blueface Baby. 
my Shamrock shout out is everybody at the school because everybody is cool and smart. What are I would like to thank my mom and the Shamrock News. I'd like to give a Shamrock shout out to Mr. Clark. Uh, I would like to give a Shamrock shout out to Bella, Itati, Diego, Estrella, and Natalia and Angela. I want to give a Shamrock shout out to the inventor of Pi. And uh, I want to give a Shamrock shout out to Emmy, Diego, uh, all these kids right here. Yeah. I want to give a Shamrock shout out to my old classes that was in and all the teachers. This is Mr. Young, and I want to give a Shamrock shout out to all of Rouse students that have been down to the creek in the last month or so. <laughs> I want to give a Shamrock shout out to all these people because they're like my first friends when I came here. I'd like to give a Shamrock shout out to Marcus. I want you to do a Shamrock shout out to Miss Barba. <gasps> Why? Because you're the best. Wow, that's so nice. Yo quiero dar un Shamrock shout out a todas las personas que trabajan en frente de la oficina porque sin ellos no podríamos hacer nuestro trabajo aquí en la oficina. Gracias. And you want to meet me six graders go, go to Shamrock News. Here's, a here's some uh, and more information. <laughs> here's some more information. I'll be famous. <laughs> Touch the camera. The camera with the person too. But <laughs> two. The Wichita Center is for family. Did that work? Was that was that like improv? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it did. Three, two. Oh, Bob conference. We've got one final of oh bye oh reminder. Let's okay. wrap now. Let's wrap. What I do? What I do? <laughs> Snippet, you right here. It's coming. Two thousand. Uh, don't get it. Don't get it. It's karma. It's karma. Uh, Three, two, one. Okay. Some groups will take place during school and some... <laughs> Why are you so obsessed with me? Boy, I won't. <laughs> Three, two... In an effort to do... Oh my god. Three, two... Show the socks. John, we want new socks and underwear. Oh. Well, I don't know the give you like actually. Well, what's that behind your back? That and then I'll start at eight. Three, two, a size eight point five times oh, eleven. How much I, have to, how <laughs> would I just hold this?